Hello, everyone. We'll wait for a few people to come join us, but I will already start an introduction if people are watching this when it's already posted. But my name is Jackie, and this is my sister, Jocelyn. Hi. And I am a content creator at Pandia Health. I mainly work with um, TikToks. Occasionally, I write blogs here and there. And actually, today's video is DIY sanitizer, and I actually wrote a blog about it. So as you know, we are in a global pandemic, which means that um, being clean is super essential and very important for people to... Um, incorporate in their lives. I mean, not saying you guys were dirty beforehand, but I don't think many people I knew before the pandemic struck um, really carried around sanitizer. I know a few people, like a very small handful in the wide pool I knew, but um, as you know, there was a time where hand sanitizer was nowhere to be found in any of the stores or grocery stores or online. And if you could find them, they were like completely overpriced. So today, um, we are going to show you how you can make your own sanitizer that is safe for you to use. We have been using it. And um, it should be should be pretty much made out of things you have around the house. You might have to find occasional things, but um, that's okay. I think it's worth it to get just like a large bundle. And there's actually multiple uses of the ingredients that are going inside. So I think there's a lot to be uncovered there. So... First thing you need is a friend, well, a sister. Um, I brought two different essential oils and these are both safe for the skin to use. What kind are those? So this one's lavender. Ooh. And then this one is tea tree oil. Cool. So, probably can't see from all the way over there. It's from this like local place called Pharmaca. And this one I think I just got at TJ Maxx. They came like in a whole pack. Um, you want to make sure that the ones you are using are okay for skin. I don't know. Can you use all essential oils on skin? No, I don't think so. I think it should. most of them should tell you whether you can use them or not. So just make sure you read it when you use essential oils. Yeah, because sometimes um, some of the essential oils are used for like oil diffusers. We have an oil diffuser. And so the oils for oil diffusers could be, I think, a little bit more strong and not as safe to put on your hands or your face because I know some people put essential oils on their face. So just be mindful of that. Um, you want to get aloe vera and this one is from Trader Joe's and it is moisturizing gel with aloe vera. And the reason why I brought this one rather than the other aloe vera or if you have an aloe vera plant, that'd be great. Um, it's because hand sanitizer is really dry for your hands and I don't necessarily have dry hands, but I think you do. Yeah, I do. Yeah, she has to put on moisturizer. I, I almost never put on like hand cream or hand food or whatever you prefer to call it because just I feel like I'm more of an oily person. <laughs> and so, <laughs> hey, that's good. Oh, hi, Erin. Hi. Welcome. Yeah, so I'm going to be making a spray for myself, and then she's going to be making a gel type because the gel type is more moisturizing it will i can't fully confidently say that it's like a good substitute for moisturizer but it definitely is it's like since you're putting on hand sanitizer more often which don't do too much because washing your hands is better um but on the go it's a good idea on the go, go yeah then the gel is definitely um more of your style um and then i'll be doing the spray it's gonna be a little difficult because i didn't have a funnel we don't have funnels Hi, Asia. Asia's here. And Angela. Hi, Angela. Thank you. I, I don't know if you guys can tell, but there's a blue light for Pandia. <laughs> it's just really bright outside, so you can't really see the light, but just know it's there. Um, okay, so let's get started. First, you are going to need alcohol. Not the drinking. Well, you can use the drinking kind. I really, if I'm going to be honest, I don't know how to pronounce this. Do you? Uh, oof, I, I can't. I so I'm doing stop. I so propyl <laughs> alcohol. Seventy percent. This one. So before everything happened, my well, not before everything happened. In the early stages of the pandemic, my parents bought this, and we've been making hand sanitizer in these like little containers. I'm just carrying them with us. Mm -hmm. And as you can see, they have lasted us a long, long time. So it's perfect. And 
I can testify this, that I use hand sanitizer a lot when I go to the pharmacy to pick up some things and I'm in line and, you know, when you get your card back or you are putting your pin in, um, I always spray my hands. I spray down the card. I wipe the card because just like cards itself are always being handed back and forth and the keypad is being touched by numerous of people per day. So if you don't want to make hand sanitizer, you should, and you don't have to go to the pharmacy like we did, then you wouldn't really have to worry about making it, but you might be going elsewhere. So Aaron says, let me buy one. Friend Ooh. discount, you don't need to buy one. <laughs> Free baby girl. Okay, so. How do we do this? Instruct me. Very good question. So I'm just kidding. <laughs> We're gonna start with the gel one. And my concern is, is um, I think we should put it in this one because the spray on this one doesn't work terribly well. Okay. So this one will have to be, if you have better containers, that's honestly better, but these ones fine because you can just unscrew them and then. Oh, I oh, see. There's still some in there. So what you're gonna wanna do is do a two to one ratio as in more aloe vera than there is alcohol. And there are measurements that you can use, but I think as my philosophy is, is to eyeball it. And I know that's not what you wanna hear. That's how it's gonna be. So what we're gonna do is- I can hold this, we get yeah. over the bowl. Well, we're gonna put it in the bowl first to mix it. Okay, oh, I see. Yeah. And so, then we're gonna funnel it in? Yeah, As you're not gonna see the funneling process happen because we're gonna have to like probably DIY one. We didn't have one at my house. I don't know where it went. I looked all over the place for it. So you're gonna start with aloe vera and we're just putting enough. It kind of looks like, like two cherries, like two cherries on your palm, splash in there. So then we're gonna slowly add, can you hold this? Mm -hmm. We're gonna slowly add the alcohol in just gently because it should be more um, clumpy than it should be liquidy. So now we're gonna use the paintbrush, we washed it. And then you're slowly gonna mix it. I know you guys can't see. Oh, Aaron said something. Is there a blog about the DIY hand sanitizer? What other kinds of blogs are there? Very good question, Aaron. Yes, there is a blog about DIY hand sanitizer. I wrote it myself. <laughs> and there's a ton of other types of blogs. There's ones that are answering like uh, commonly asked medical questions. There's like kind of like current event ones. There's outfits you can wear. There's there's such a wide variety. I can't specifically say like there's a, a like an umbrella thing. You know, there's just a lot to do about women reproductive um, things or just Honestly, there's so much you can read there, so you, you should find out. And we also have a YouTube channel and a podcast. And so all these are great things to do. If you've ever been on a road trip, I recently, that's not the one, I recently started listening to um, podcasts. And I used to not like podcasts because when we would drive with my mom, she would play, what was it called? NPR. NPR. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It drove us insane <laughs> because, I don't know. They I just, talk so slowly. They I talk think. really slow, and it's just, I know as kids, it just was not the thing you wanted to listen to, especially when you're on a road trip to Disneyland. And um, ever since then, I think I've had like a problem with um, talking in the car, like listening to podcasts or something, because I get extremely car sick. And so I try not to listen to podcasts very often, but I have now because when I drove down to Santa Barbara once, it's about a four hour drive for where I live. And um, I would get so tired and exhausted during the drive that I needed to like listen to people talk and to interact because I was completely by myself. And I found myself like daydreaming and just not focusing on the road, which is super dangerous. So I actually listened to a few YouTube podcasts and I actually did list, my mom told me that there was pa Pandia podcasts on Apple Music. So if you have Apple Music or on YouTube, I know some of you guys do, definitely. Now check it out, okay. So now, I feel like it needs a little more clump. Yeah, we need a, it's a little too liquidy. You, what I do is I like to dip my finger in and kind of rub it around my palm. And right now it's, you don't really feel the gel. So we're gonna use more. Oh, and the reason why you wanna use aloe vera gel versus other things like 
um, lotion or hand cream is because aloe vera helps dilute the alcohol so it's not going straight onto your skin. If you do want a more powerful hand sanitizer, then you can, what I'm going to be making, you'll see that it'll just be like alcohol with um, essential oils. Essential oils, yeah. And that one's going to be a lot more stronger in your hands. It actually is going to dry your hands more, but um, if you don't have dry hands like she does, then you can use the spray one. And I think the spray one is always like a little bit more convenient for me because I just don't like how my hands kind of feel like wet after I use it. We have Jackie joining us too. Hello, Jackie. She sent a black box. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Oh no, there's new messages. Do you think you can reach into it? Oh now? yeah. There we go. Aaron says baby bottle. Oh. So maybe something Jackie wrote had something to do with a baby, but <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so now I dipped my finger in. Also, if you're going to be touching the sanitizer, I recommend to wash your hands first because it kind of is counterproductive to put dirty hands into hand sanitizer. So I washed my hands before all of this after setting everything up, and now it is more of a um, gel-like consistency. Mm -hmm. so now we're going to add in the flavor. So how about you pick one? Um, I'm going to do lavender. Okay. So here's where we're also going to go off of preference. If you like strong scented hand sanitizer, then you would put more essential oils. If you do not like scented hand sanitizer, then you would put less. But I do recommend a little bit because it covers up the smell because... <laughs> oh. Yeah, that's really strong. Mm -mm. Okay, so Josh, how about you put in since you're going to use this? Okay, little so fun fact. Oh, go ahead. You have you gotta like shake this one. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, let's see how five does. More? Yeah, a little more. <laughs> <laughs> um, if you are like me and you have trouble sleeping at night, I do recommend lavender to put in an oil diffuser. I've been doing that, but I let my sister borrow it. And it is very relaxing and it puts me to sleep because I have such a difficult time falling okay, asleep. Let's try that. Okay. We are now stirring more lavender drops. Okay, that smells better. Can I smell? Oh, yeah, I can mostly smell lavender now. Yeah. Yeah. So, one of my brother's friends, um, who, oh, I like that. his roommate actually, um, had. We put lavender hand sanitizer <laughs> on him. And he was like, whoa, this smells so good. And he was so excited when Josh pulled out a hand sanitizer. Oh, except yeah. it wasn't. Yeah, the, it was just straight up rubbing alcohol. Yeah. And I was like, what is this? Yeah. It's, I've been tricked. Yeah, it smells really bad, but it feels stronger. Okay, so this one's done. I don't know if we really want to risk. Yeah. I don't know if we're going to risk it by funneling it, so we're not going to. But if you're doing this at home, make sure to have a funnel. We just yes. couldn't find ours at the moment. I mean, I think worse comes to worse, we might use a paper funnel. Mm -hmm. And so what you can do is take a paper and you can fold it into a cone and then just pray that when you... Do it fast. Yeah, do it really <laughs> fast. Okay, so now we're going to work on this one. My sister and I both have little clear bottles like this. And I'm going to give you a life pro tip. Do not leave these in your car, especially during the summer, because it just dries, dries up and it's just a complete waste. So, I don't know. <laughs> just keep <laughs> them keep in your happening. purse or something. Yeah, that keeps happening to us, I feel like. You will now attempt. or Oh, what? oh you know what? We can just do it over the bowl. Do it over and the then bowl. we can remix this yeah. ratio if it gets too much. Okay, oh my, my foot's God. asleep. Oh, no. It's <laughs> really ticklish. Oh God. So, we're going to have the really foot. I can't do it. Okay, let's switch. <laughs> I'll <laughs> you hold it. <laughs> okay. All right. Here we go. I can't feel my foot. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Oh man, I don't know. I don't know if this I should be doing this. I have shaky hands. All right, let's try. Okay. Yeah, I could never be a surgeon. Or mm -hmm. And I'm just trying to go slow. Okay. Oh, I don't know how much wow. I'm supposed to pour. That's okay. She did pretty well. Just near the top. So now we're going to add in... Tea. 
Is that what it is? I'm pretty sure it is. Tea yeah, tree. tree. Tea tree. Tea tree. This one also smells really good when you're going to go to sleep. I've tried it before. I kind of felt like I was um, in forest, almost. Botanical garden. Is that how you pronounce it? Botanical? Botanical. I think. Okay. So now I'm going to add about eight drops. Oh, I feel like you're going to need more. This one's way stronger. Okay. I'm going to add 12 drops. Yeah. I lost count. <laughs> no. I feel like let's test it out. Let's see how it looks. Yeah. I think I have three more. It looks so cool going in. Yeah. Can't tell, but you can see the oil fighting with the um, alcohol. So how about you shake that up? Okay. Actually, fun fact, this can go on your face. And this is really good if you have um, red skin. Oh, yeah. I have red skin, so that's what I was trying to do. Oh, Rebecca <gasps> says, I love lavender. Can you hand make me a lavender one? Of yes. course, Becca. Of course. Oh. All right. Would you like to test it out, Jess? Yes. Oh, yes. I agree, Dr. Colbert. Aromatherapy. Okay, no. There is no scent <laughs> whatsoever. Maybe There's we need nothing. a little bit more. There is nothing in there. Aromatherapy, yes. It is It is my one of my personal favorites. Um, it actually works really well if you're studying, too. And you have to find your scent. Like, some people like really sweet things. I actually like more earthy smelling things. Something Yeah, like, that's why the tea tree is good, I feel like. Yeah. yeah. A little weird fact about me is I love the smell of wet concrete. What? Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, I told you. When we were, like, on the blacktop ones, I love the smell of um, wet blacktops. And so oh. when I was a kid, because I was so weird, every time it rained, I loved the smell so much that I was like, if it smells good, it must taste good. <laughs> so I licked the blacktop, <laughs> and it did not taste good. So... Smell does not equivalent to deliciousness. That's true. I don't know if there's a correlation in that. Okay. We put in a lot now. Yeah. I don't know how many, but I'm going to guess 20. Okay. Let's check up. You want to scroll down once more? Oh, yeah. Thank you. Oh. It says that we're all the way at the bottom. Oh, okay. All right. You try? Okay. Oh, no. Woo. I'll pick it up. It still smells like rubbing alcohol. You can gently, you can vaguely smell the tea tree oil. And I think the tea tree oil might not have been the best pick for this one just because it doesn't even have a very prominent um, scent itself. Mm -hmm. So I think it's going to be overpowered. I think the lavender one would have worked way better with this one. Actually, in this bottle, there used to be lavender in it. Yeah, you can still smell it. Oh, yeah, that smells good. Yeah. So this one also had rubbing alcohol in it. Well, it's not rubbing alcohol. Um, where did it go? Oh, oh, it's right here. You want the cap? I have it. I oh, put it okay. On. Um, that one's definitely going to be a much more suited match to it if you want the smell to be masked. I personally do not mind the smell of like iso iso grill. Yeah. But <laughs> okay. So I personally do not mind the smell. I kind of like the smell of like disinfectants and whatnot. So we're going to push this to the side. Oh, you know what I need to put on? My Pandia chapstick. <laughs> it's hot outside. So my lips are chapped. Boop. Okay. So the other thing I wanted to talk about today was the financial aid scholarship we are offering. As in we, not us two specifically, but in Pandia. So I thought it would be great for us to give you a little walkthrough. And we posted um, an Instagram post around June 1st, no, not June 1st, the week before June 1st. And we have extended the deadline to June 30th. And that way there could be more people. So if you know anyone who is in need of um, a financial aid for birth control, then that you should tell them to check out Pandia and to check out the Google form that we have linked. And I will show you how to get to there. There should be more ads, um, not ads. There should be more posts talking about it. Can you hand me? This? Yeah, just like rip it off. Oh, the oh, yeah, it's a nice tug. Oh, okay, so I will show you guys to my best ability how to do this. Whoop. Okay, so we are here at a tablet. This isn't gonna work very well, but let's say it is. I'm gonna show you guys on Instagram, so we're gonna open Instagram and we're gonna look up 
Candia Health. I already have it right here. Oh no, you can't see the beautiful design. Please. Okay, oh, no. what if we hold it back here? <laughs> it's not working. <laughs> the light is too strong. Okay, you gotta trust me that it. That is there. It's on here. What if we hold it all the way back here? No. So we're having technical difficulties. Do you want to try to turn down the light oh, real yeah. quickly? We have a light behind, so it's going to be very strong. We're going to turn off the light. That's like a little knob. Is that better? A little bit more. Maybe we need to turn this up. Turn it down? Turn it down on the iPad, I guess. Ah, we got it. Ish. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> it's... Oh no. All right. So if you go to Pandia Health Instagram, you're going to see that there is something called Linktree. And you're going to click on the Linktree. I know you can't see it. I apologize. Oh, well, you can see this. Perfect. And it's it brings you here to a bunch of different links. And right here, you're going to look up for birth control financial aid. It's the third one down from the top. One, two, three. And you're going to click it. Boop. And it's going to bring you to this um, Google form. I know you can't see it, but, oh, I clicked on the wrong one. But yeah, so, oh, it brings you to the social good page. And then when you scroll down, you're gonna click to apply to for financial aid, and then it's gonna bring you to the Google form. And here it is, it's very fast. I don't think it's very time consuming. And um, again, it's very easy to share around to your friends. And I think it is definitely something that, um, should be good considering um, recent of events, there has been um, obviously decrease in jobs and things have been getting more financial difficult for certain groups and people. There are a lot of current events that are going on that are affecting a lot of people. So Pandia Health, Pandia Health wants to offer out a hand to people who might need this. And we really hope that it can just relieve one of the many burdens you may have and I think that um, there are options that should suit everyone. Different types of birth control. You have the pill, you have the ring, you have the patch, and they're offering some doctor consultations, which I think is great that our doctors um, are very well knowledgeable about <laughs> the situation. And um, there's just, there's so much benefit to this. And I think it's really great to um, spread the word. So share this video you have the chance or spread it by word or mouth or post it on your story or anything. That would be great if you could tag us. And speaking of tagging, um, I am in charge of TikTok. Right. She does not have a TikTok, which <laughs> is heartbreaking to me. Um, if you do not know what TikTok is, it is a like a video platform where people share videos of various different things. You can have sketches on there. You can have art content. You can have music on there, sports everything there's like a wide wide range of what you can find on tiktok i think it is pretty suitable for ages above like 12 and yeah. older um and i have been creating some videos along with my co-worker named daisy and i think the videos we are making are very funny and very entertaining and a series that i'm trying to start is embarrassing period stories and i would like for you to submit one to Pandia Health. And if you would like to, it could be anonymous. So if you want to go to like DM us a story and we could talk about it and maybe animated. Um, we have, I have a lot. She mm -hmm. has very few, which is shows that she's like more prepared in life than I am. Um, one of them I have that I talk about in my story is the time I went to um, Ibiza with my friend. And I had just ran out of birth control because I only planned to stay for three months and on Pandia Health. You can actually choose how much birth control you want to be delivered to you. So you can get one month, three months, a whole year, just so you can just have everything already in your house so you don't need to um, follow up on it. And I only got three because I expected to be in Europe for three months, but I had more of a budget than I originally expected. And so I went to Ibiza and... I had my period and it was a really heavy flow and it was really embarrassing because I didn't, the person I was traveling with, I wasn't as close to her at the time, but we're much closer now. 
but I was like a little embarrassed to tell her and I didn't know what to do because the island we were on was called Formentera and it's a very small island off of like the coast of Spain and we couldn't find a convenience store and so I was like let's just go back to Ibiza because when we get off the dock there was a bunch of stores and I remember seeing one that was a pharmacy and on the way back from the boat, we, I was standing in the back because I didn't want to sit down. Because if you know, if you think you're bleeding through, the last thing you want to do is sit down. And so um, there was water splashing onto us. It was summer, so we, you know none of us minded. And, and a girl came up to me, a mother actually, and she didn't speak English, so she had it in Google Translate. <laughs> <laughs> and she was trying to read off of it which I really appreciate like the effort and courage to like come up to me and um, go through such an extent to tell me. And it was like, Hey, you know, there's like blood running down your leg. And I was like, huh? And I looked down and there was blood and I was like, Oh my God, this is horrifying. Her kids were looking at me. Oh, no. Cause I'm sure she told her kid before she told me, I like ran to the bathroom and only the men's bathroom was open. I had to use like tissue paper. You know the whole shebang. If you've ever bled through, you do whatever you can to stop that. And I came off and they all gave me like pity smiles. They're like, oh no. And I was I mean, like, she was understanding oh, at least. You know, yeah. she's a mother. She she's a mom. Everything. But yeah. like her kids were like probably not that much younger than me. They looked like they were. Oh. Yeah, like 16. <laughs> yeah. So I was like, no. And I was. Yeah, you know, I was 18 at the time or 19. I don't know. But um, yeah, so I realized that I would have never had this problem if I just skipped my period. Hashtag periods optional if I took birth control. <laughs> All right. Tell so your story. <laughs> my story is pretty embarrassing too. So I was at a pool party and I, I was on my period and I didn't really know how to use a tampon. And I don't know, I freaked out and I couldn't figure out how to use it. So I just wore a pad, which was a huge mistake, like a terrible decision. And so I went into the pool. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Sorry. And I didn't realize that the pad just like, you know, it, it went, I don't know. Anyway, some girl pointed out. Like, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> just, just, just dipped. <laughs> just. <laughs> Sorry. Um, and the tam or the pad uh, was just floating around. We're <laughs> all pointed at. I'm just like, you who could have done this? And I was like, oh my god, yeah, who could have done that? And I freaked out. I ran into the bathroom and I called my sister because I was like, I need help. I don't know what to do. Like, please help me. And yeah, that was pretty embarrassing. But you yeah. know, now yeah, that. <laughs> Oh, um, no, we missed a lot. Oh, oh yeah. Our girl Asia pumping this up. Thank you for your plug-in tutorial. Uh -huh. But yeah, so now that I'm on the pill, it's really helpful because I don't really ever have to worry about having tampons or pads, like period optional. Mm -hmm. And that's been really helpful for me because yeah. I'm not good at planning stuff And like you can that. save a lot of money too mm -hmm. um, from not buying menstrual products. I remember yeah, reading expensive. a report that people spend on average about um, $450 per year on menstrual products, which is crazy. And I know there are a lot of hit and miss when taking birth control. And I think the key to that is finding the one that works for mm -hmm. you. Cause the one I used to take, um, was a terrible mix with me. I had a terrible chemical reaction with it. Chemical reactions kind of extreme sounding. It just did not vibe with me. <laughs> and so I found a new one that is much more suited to me. It can definitely help with like acne. Yeah, that's and, what I use it for too. Yeah. And so we're both on it, which is great. And I think people should be more um, open minded. And I know because some people who I've talked to are like, I don't know, like, you know, what, I want to mess it up with your hormones. Yeah. I don't want to like experience something bad. And just know that like, it's a trial and error process with just as it is for like everything, your makeup brands, uh, shampoos, um, different things. You always have to try it and find out if you like it. But mm -hmm. all right, hand sanitizer check. Don't forget to go on to Pandia's Instagram page and check out the link there. Um, check out our TikTok. If you have any embarrassing embarrassing period stories, please DM it to us or comment it or something because we love reading them. And I think it should not be something people should be ashamed of. I think mm -hmm. it's good to laugh at yourself. And I think it is a healthy experience because I remember I was like, I will never tell anyone this story. This is so embarrassing. And then like I don't know, three weeks later, I was in a group of like 20 people. I was like, come, come here, come here. Let me tell you guys about something embarrassing. And once you're able to accept that, yeah. 
you, you're able to take things like mm -hmm. on a much better like level. But thank you yeah, for joining us. Embrace. Yeah, exactly. Because it's a it's a human, you know, body. It's a natural function. thing. It's yeah. like when people burp and they're like, ew, and you're like, my body needed to. My body just needed to release the gas. Let me check the comments one more time. Oh, and that's it. That was to the bottom. Thank you for everyone who's joining. Really appreciate it. And can't wait to see you guys next week. Oh, and if you see in the bottom, you can use my code Jackie for a discount if you order birth control. I recommend it. <laughs> Again, if you see this video after it's finished from the live, please share it. We really appreciate it. And thank you so much for giving us your time and watching us. Yeah, and thank you for having me on. No, thank you for coming <laughs> on. <laughs> All, All right. right. Bye. Bye, everyone.